Dans sa lutte climatique, on doit être ferme et résolu. On doit saisir cette occasion pour être encore plus ambitieux et agir de manière concrète. Et c'est exactement ce que le Canada est venu faire ici. Nous avons déjà réalisé. That's exactly what Canada has come to do here today. We need to tackle the cost of our emissions. We need to protect our oceans and our lands. And it's only a start. We must stick to the 1.5 degree objective. And to do so, we need to tackle pollution uh, caused by fossil fuels. And here are the numbers that back that up. 2030, that's the year by which we'll phase out coal-fired electricity in Canada. Zero, the amount of thermal coal Canada will export under our new commitment to a ban. One billion dollars, what we'll provide from our climate financing to help developing countries move away from coal, coal as well. In fact, on climate finance, Canada has doubled our overall commitment. In partnership with Germany and others, we've also created the delivery plan that sets when and how developed countries will fulfill their commitment to the $100 billion goal. And the final number, the 1st of November, 2021. My friends, today, Canada moves to cap oil and gas sector emissions and ensure they decline at a pace and scale needed to achieve net zero by 2050. We are the first major oil and gas producing nation to do this. And of course, we've made a promise to the workers in the sector that will be there for them and their families into this brighter future. That's our commitment. And we urge other major oil and gas producing nations to join us. Because words aren't enough to secure strong economies for citizens and a bright future for our kids. So we're delivering a real plan with real ambitious climate action for our citizens and for our shared future. Merci, Boris. Great stuff, uh, Justin. I think that, that's new news, if, if I get you correct. Well, that's, that's, that's terrific. Uh, c can we go now to uh, uh, Frank Bainamarana of, of, of Fiji, Prime Minister of Fiji?